This is the uh, fuel injector testing. I'm going to do 10 seconds. I have them going really slow right now. But we're just... Uh, Okay, so this one's clicking, that one's not, that one's not, that one's clicking. That's channel one, it's one and four. Now, injector channel two, which should be two and three. So, not clicking, is clicking, is clicking, not clicking. So, those sound healthy. And just like how we tested the injectors, we can test the coils as well. So, this is at three millisecond dwell, which is relatively low for the types of coils. I have it pulsing really slowly so you can see the spark. It's kind of, the camera's not picking it up very well, but you can definitely hear it. All right, so these coils are being run on a wasted spark configuration, meaning that um, simply one and four fire in a pair when one and four are both the top dead center, and likewise for two and three. So I kind of put these all up here. As you can hopefully see, one and four are firing together. Um, the dwell is pretty low. Uh, don't how well you can see that, but I think I think you can kind of see it. Anyway, so that's channel one. I'm gonna change this to channel two now. Software is really nice because you really can just kind of go in here, change this to coil B. You even see the little voltmeter flickering as the coils charge and discharge. So, this is actually the first check. So let's see, two and three, looks good. I really don't think the camera's picking that up, but they're, they are sparking. I could, I could turn the dwell up a little bit. Let's see if turning the dwell up to like four or five. Luckily, that's just a button click away. Let's try four milliseconds. That just changes the charging time for the coils, so we should get a hotter spark. That's a little hotter, yeah. Let's see. There you go. Anyway, so that's testing the coils. Looks like all four are healthy. And uh, a little aside about these uh, coil wires. If you look at the OE spec wires, uh, they're obviously very different from the 90 degree boots on here. These wires themselves are actually pretty janky. They're from a, I think, 97 or 98 Chevy truck. So those will eventually be addressed, but these are just to make sure that everything is working um, and that, you know, the wiring isn't backwards somewhere. And I'm, I'm not a fabricator. Uh, this was kind of my quick and dirty attempt. You know, it's, it's on there pretty, pretty well. I'm not excited about it being next to the headers, but there might be heat shield in this bracket's future. This is just a temporary wire to the coil. Um, this will this will be gone once the coil is, is gone. It'll just be going right to the switch. There you go. And that is testing coils and injectors with Mega Squirt. Feeling hot, hot, hot.